the girly girls. Should I put my earrings on? Is that even a question? Hold on, let me put my earrings on. <laughs> I am going to have to get my ears pierced after this. Because now I just be showing my ears all the damn time. I'm going to wear my lucky handy dandy earrings that my good girlfriend got for me. It just doesn't feel like it's a look if the doll is not fully done. Oh, I apologies. I was running a little late. You know, think, when you're trying to do a live stream and just things happen in life that just sometimes they get you together, don't come for me and this wig. This is a human hair wig. I need to, um, I need to take a shower with her and just wash her and, and, um, send her some, give her some love. And I also, uh, listen, I've never had long hair before. I'm growing out my hair, you guys. I'm going through this process. Oh my God, before I even start, I have to sign on. But, but let me just continue with my point of thought. I've been growing my hair out. My hair is very long. I mean, it's almost as long as this, honestly. It, it really is. But it's evening out in certain areas. Like here on the side, it's like up to here. And then from the back, it's like all the way down here. So I feel like right now I have like three or four different hairstyles. I have, and then I have a bang. I have a bang too. So I have a bang. I have like a ponytail in the back. But when I release it, I look, I have a big mullet with a bang. So like I have... My friends always make fun of me because I have, like, three different hair hairstyles going on. Literally. Uh, ooh! What is the tea, everybody? What is the tea? This is your girl, your big-ass BBW girl, Miss Luscious Massacre. And I am here live about to do a... Oh, my God. Do you like this moo moo? Shout out to the Lady Joella. This moo I love this moo moo. I found this moo moo. At, was it at the Ross? Where were we? Where was I? Oh my God, I was with my friends in New Orleans and we stopped at the Ross and I bought this mumu. I'm not kidding, for like $4.99. And it is so punani nani, nani, baby. It is so punani. I feel like a biological woman. Like there's moments where I think, you know, because I'm very, you know, you know my experience. I'm very that girl who she's on the verge. She's on the edge of glory. And sometimes I, this, when I put this mumu on, it makes me think, should I transition? <laughs> the mumu, this mumu gives me a very feminine power, a very feminine mystique. And it makes me feel very like, sometimes I, I'm not even lying to you. I sit on the couch all dolled up and I'm wearing my little mumu and it makes me feel like such a woman. Like it makes me ask myself the question, should I, in this moment, should I call the doctor and tell them, baby, I'm ready for a transition. I'm ready for a change. I don't know. It is. <laughs> Anyways, I'm growing out my hair, you guys. And this is my little human hair unit that I bought myself that um, I've been using. Like, I use this all the time. I can put a curling iron into this. I can put a flat iron into this. Um, it was, it was not that expensive. And the only thing with me is I, I bought a flat iron, but what I actually think I need, and I'm going to have to go back to the Target cause you know, I love to shop at the Target and I think I need a curling iron so I can just curl, give myself little curls and just feel my little womanly fantasy. Shout out to the Lady Joella. What was the Lady Joella saying? Everybody give us some likes, give the girls some likes, love and support the dolls. Joella Puss said, we need to do a new episode of The Girls Want a Battle. So much has went down. Oh, girl, so much has really gone down. Listen, I'm an Emmy Award winning doll, so I'm trying to stay away from drama. I'm trying to proactively, you know, be a professional woman. And I'm not saying that spilling the tea and airing it out is not professional, but I feel like the only woman who can really pull me back to my old ways of just, you know, spilling the tea unapologetically is the Lady Joella Puss. The Lady Joella Puss. Shout out to Miss Denison 52 in the house. We have Miss Denison 52. And she said, I love to see you lush. 
Thank you for coming back to YouTube. I am so proud of you and hope to see more content with you. Joella, Divina, and Miss Debbie. Miss Debbie, shout out to Miss Debbie. Shout out to La Divina Garza, honey. And shout out to the Lady Joelle Tapas. The Lady Joelle Tapas, the voice of drag is here on the line. What an honor. What a true honor. Miss Justang said you need a Dyson. Listen, I am very late in my life exploring femininity and exploring more and more what it is to be a feminine creature now that I've been growing out my hair. And so I don't really even know how to use a curling iron. Do you guys ever feel like that? Do you guys ever feel like incompetent? <laughs> do you guys ever feel just like truly, truly incompetent? Because I really do. And I'm over here like, damn, I should really know what I'm, I should really know how to do this by now. But I just haven't had the need to. You know, I've always had that boy hair. I've always had that buzz cut. I've always had my sides shaved off. You know what I mean? Joella Puss said, you need a, hearing, a heating wand, not a curling iron, a heated one. Okay, we're gonna go shopping, sister. We're gonna go shopping. I need tools for this new chapter of the length of my hair. Um, today, I already put on my face. And, and let me tell you something. This face, I've been on a journey because I've been on the road. I've been traveling. I don't, you know, life has put me in this position of like, I can't really sit down and be a fat bitch, even though I still am. Darling, of course. Press the little like if you're a fat bitch too. But I can't really sit down and just take my time with things. I'm on the go. I'm a woman who's on traveling, who's always on a plane, who's always somewhere fabulous, all around the country, all around the world. And so I don't have the luxury of sitting down and being able to do my makeup for two, three hours anymore. I, I really don't. Sometimes I'm just like, you're going to be on stage. You got 30 minutes. And, and, and I have to figure out a way to make myself look presentable. So it's really pushed me to explore makeup and 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 in 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 a way that is like you got to be fast. You you have to not necessarily cut corners, but you have to figure out how to do things quickly, effectively. And also, it's pushed me. Shout out to Miss Denison Fifty Two. We have Miss Denison Fifty Two. She said, I love to see you lush. Thank you for what I don't know what's going on with I need to I need to get my other phone. Where's my other phone? I have, let me get my my let me get my trade phone. Wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute, hold on. Let me pull out the trade phone, baby, because something is going on over here. My phone is being weird. Hold on. And I can't see all the comments that are coming in here. I can't see all the comments. Something is happening. Something is happening. Let me turn on my, my trade phone. So that I can I can follow along with you guys and really be able to see what is going on over here. But anyways, the um yeah, I've I've also, you know, I as a makeup artist, I've also I've always wanted to be versatile. Even though I am known for this crazy, insane, hyper glam drag makeup, I also really, really pride myself in knowing how to tone it all the way down and do something that is glamorous, soft, and something that, you know, any any anybody could wear, not necessarily just a drag queen. And also, sorry, I'm putting my powder because I don't even think I remember to put any powder down here. Um, I want to be able to do, like, my, my dream glam is to be able to perfect just really beautiful skin that it looks like it's just skincare and just glowy, glistening, beautiful skin, but still being a beat, a super, super beat face. Like knowing how to be able to tone it down, but it still be a lot of makeup on there. So it truly gives that seamless perfection. And when Getty Images shows up and they take a photo, they can't catch you. They're not going to get you. You know, there's not going to be a poor showing. There's not going to be any crackery or imperfections. It's going to be just seamless, beautiful skin glam with a little bit of hint of blush and, you know, just beauty. Beauty, extreme, like that hyper extreme beauty, but in a softness. I don't even know if I'm making any sense anymore. But 
I really want to get to the point where I, I know how to tone it down. And for me, what's been working now is less is more. Uh, I'm wearing one foundation, you guys. I used to be the girl who would put on a full coverage pan and then I would put a liquid on top to make it just really blend and then I would put setting spray and then I would go over it with a sponge so that it really married together and then I would I would go in with a concealer the super super light concealer and go in blend it down and then I would contour sa 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 honey sa 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 and I you know I and I still am that girl sometimes but I don't need to be that girl all the time. So now I don't have any contour on right now. I don't, I just put on, I grabbed my foundation and I'm using this one. Is it this one? 350 or 370? 370. I am using the House Labs Tri Clone Skin Tech Foundation. And this is it. Can you believe it? In 2023, the BBW doll, the Emmy Award winning makeup artist of drag. Can you believe that I am using one single foundation on my face and a liquid foundation at that? I don't even know if this, I don't even think this foundation is, is, is a full coverage. I'm not even using full coverage. For me, it is unheard of. This is, this is, it's truly like something is going on with the world because I am used to using, you know, that, that rough and tough and heavy duty hide the man foundation that a lot of us girls out there, we use it. Press the number one if you've ever had to hide the man. Baby, We I've had to hide the man, let me tell you. And um, I also added a little bit of blush in a cream. Now, this cream blush fantasy is really changing the game for me. I'm really, really enjoying just putting on some cream blush, blending it down, and then just leaving it and letting it sit there and then, if I need an extra pop, I go in with a powder blush, bing, 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 and I hit it. And I, you know, and I let her, and I let her give me that extra, extra fantasy. But right now, I, I, I don't even need it. I just put on a little bit of blush. And let me tell you something. Oh, my light. My, let me tell you something. What is this? Is this from, who is this? I need to shred the, uh, the Ricky Ricky mirror. Girl, these Ricky Ricky mirrors, I'm so sorry I have to shred. They're awful. I have gone through so many. They always break on me. The power be going out. They start malfunctioning. They start going through the gigs. Um, this company, what's the name of this company? Glamcore. Miss Glamcore, get it together, sister. These Ricky Ricky mirrors are awful. Can we please get a mirror that will last for longer than a year? These are expensive mirrors, Sister Mary Ann. This is like a $250, almost $300 mirror, and it continues to fall apart. Luscious Massacre is very concerned for Glamcore. Anyways, let me tell you something. This little blush, okay? Shout out to Mark Anastasios. He's like the global creative person behind NYX, and we're friends, and he sent me a bunch of PR from NYX Cosmetics. I got so many, like, pretty much everything from NYX, and I've been playing around with all these products. They're so fabulous. Let me see. Hold on. What's going on over here? And, um, well, anyways, he sent me this, and this is the NYX Professional Makeup Wonder Stick. It's a dual-ended cream blush. As you guys see, on this side, I've been going in. It literally looks like a lipstick. You can literally apply it like this, or what I like to do is I'll grab a little sponge, or not a sponge, a brush, something like this, like a little stippling kind of sponge. I pick up product, and then I go ding, 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 and I spread it all across my cheek. Now, this technique that I've picked up in the last couple of months, and I actually learned this from Valentina because she does this, and I was like, let me try it, and I love it, and it really does work, is... I used to be the girl who would always follow my cheek down here, my contour. And I still do. For my face, it works. But you know what Valentina does? Valentina, instead of applying contour down here, she doesn't, she normally doesn't apply anything down here. She wants to give the illusion that her cheekbone and her face is higher and it's carved all the way up here. So she applies her product her blush, and even her contour, it goes all the way up here, all the way at the top, boom. 
And I was like, wow, like it really does give you the that snatch it snatches up. It brings the eye forward. It brings the eye up. It 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 ignores this area down here, and so it just it makes you look like everything is going on over here. And I really love it. So I go in, ding 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 ding, and I apply the product up here, and I blend it down with my sponges, and then I set. I have a secret. I'm only gonna share for a second, but I can't tell you what this is yet. Cause let's say, let's get this video to 200 likes. If we get this video to 200 likes, I will share because there needs to be a reward. There needs to be some kind of reward. But I apply this on under my eyes. I grab a little sponge like this. I actually have no idea where this sponge is from. I've been looking for them everywhere and I cannot find them. This is obviously dirty. This sponge um, Valentina gave to me, but our good friend Ernesto Casillas gave it to her. And if you guys don't know who Ernesto is, Ernesto is um, an Emmy Award winning makeup artist, celebrity makeup artist. He works with Queen Latifah. And right now, probably the most famous person that you guys know is he is Doja Cat's personal makeup artist. He works with all the celebrities. He does everybody. But right now, he is the man behind Doja Cat's face. So, he gave this sponge to Valentina. Valentina gave it to me. And I pick up this powder. I blow on it because I don't want too much product on my face. And girl, the light is just going to have to be what it's going to be. And um, and then I just go in and I go boom, 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 boom. And I, and I press it. I press it in, but I use a very little amount of product powder. Very, Ernesto Casillas. Let's see if this light comes for me again. And so then I apply this powder, boom, boom, underneath my eyes. And it just gives me the glam. It gives me the fantasy. And I really, really do adore it so much. Okay, hold on. Let me turn this down. I'm going to go to my video. Luscious. Oh, I need to connect to the Wi-Fi. Damn. I don't even know. What is the Wi-Fi over here? What is the Wi-Fi over here? I don't even think I remember what the Wi-Fi is over here. Baby. Baby. <laughs> I don't remember the Wi-Fi. Damn, I'm over here choking. Uh, oh, we'll figure it out. Let me see. Shout out to Miss Denison52. She came back in and she hit the girls with a combo. And she said, Lush, what do you think of Sasha Kobe winning the crown? Also, what do you think about the response to all these anti-LGBT legislation? I love Sasha Kobe. I've known Sasha Kobe for years. I, I, I'm a huge pageant girl. Um, I used to go, I haven't been in a while, but I used to go to every single Miss Gay US of A in Dallas, Texas. There was even years when they did it in Houston, Texas. It's a huge pageant. Um, and I would always run into Sasha Kobe. She's been a legend for years known her for years in the drag world, a very talented entertainer. Um, I'm One of my really, really good Judies is Carrie Colby. Me and Carrie Colby kind of like, we came up here in LA. When I used to live in LA back in 2019, um, I used to hang out with Carrie Colby all the time. We, we got into so many, so many shenanigans and so many stories that I will never share. And I'm just gonna have to leave that light off. Sorry guys. There's just so many things that like so many adventures that me and Carrie Colby used to have, but it, maybe I'll get her on the channel one day and we'll we'll talk and we'll kiki. Um, and I'm so proud of Carrie too because when and this is a fun fact, it, it's a, a simple fact, but it's a fun fact. And I I I'm, I love that I was in in some small way a part of that journey. Uh, but when Carrie Colby tried out for RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, I lent her a wig. And when I tell you this wig was busted, this wig was like bubble gum. It was humongous. It was pink and it was destroyed. But I think, I don't know what she was doing in her, in her audition video, but it was some kind of look that required a big, like crazy pink wig. And anyways, I, I'm so proud of her. She went on Drag Race. She did her thing. And then look at Sasha Kobe now. And then Sasha Kobe came in and now Sasha Kobe is the winner of, RuPaul's Drag Race. That's wild. And I love that. She deserves it. She's a sickening entertainer. This is a woman who, when she gets on stage, she's going to shut it down. And, um, you know, even before Drag Race, Sasha, she had this show here in, in, in West Hollywood. 
um, goddess, uh, goddess. Of, what was the, what was the name of the show? Goddess, goddess, body of goddess or god? I don't remember. Goddess has always been her thing. Sasha Colby. She was always the T S goddess, and I love that it came full circle. And she went on the finale, and she had this song called Goddess, and she she played into that, and then she won, and that's really beautiful. Goddess is really a a part of who Sasha Colby and. A a angelic bodies, goddess bodies, whatever. Heavenly bodies, there we go, the goddess. And she's she really is that heavenly goddess. She really is. Uh, love, 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 Miss Sasha Colby. So much. Uh, okay. I've I've been he in on here for 20 minutes and I still haven't done a single thing. <laughs> I haven't done a single thing. Okay, let's come on because uh, we're going to run out of time and I only want to be on this live for about an hour. Okay, so my very first product, I'm going to do a makeup that is super simple, super quick. This is when I have no time and I'm rushing and they say, baby, you got to be the doll and we're going to step out. You have an hour. What are you going to do? And I'm like, okay, baby, I got my I got my fish face. I got that feminine soft face, that big girl delusional face and I love 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 this is what I've been using right now this is on my little carry-on bag I, I carried up carry it on the airport and I run with this this is from Laura Lee uh, Los Angeles it's called whimsical nudes it's literally a quintessential everyday look at this just pretty nudes mattes and a couple of shimmers let me pull out and, and also the beauty of it is Laura Lee, and I've been using these brushes. I love when I get PR like this, that is like so functional. She sent the the palette and she sent a little, a little baggie like this full of brushes. And if you guys can check this out, if you guys are interested or, you know, I don't have a PR code with Laura Lee or anything like that, but this is genuinely, you guys can see this. Look at how destroyed the brushes are. Like I have been using this, the house down. Look, this going in. The dolls have been going in. Well, anyways, Laura Lee Los Angeles brushes. Okay, so I've been using... I, I'm trying to minimize my kit for myself, my personal little baby doll kit. So I, um, I love that you get a whole face of brushes. You get face brushes. You get like three or four eyeshadow brushes. And I've challenged myself to be able to do my makeup with that. And then that's it. You just roll with it. So I already primed my eyes. Let me just make sure, where is my brush? Here it is. Let me just make sure that there's no creasing because I already know since this is creamy and it's wet, there's probably all kinds of creasing. So the first thing that I do is I pop something on my lid. Where is my lid brush? I love to use something like this, something that you can like, it's almost like if it's your finger, you can pack it on. Um, I grab my palette. And you can use any palette. I also use the Lunar Beauty. I also, there's so many palettes you can use. You can use anything that works that's just nude. And this is for if you guys are on the go and if you guys want to do something quick. It's a very quick, soft, <clears throat> glam kind of eye. And I, I only use three shadows. I'll keep it real. I actually only use two shadows. Today I might use three or two. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what, what the vibe is giving. I go in with this copper right here. And this is in the shade Golden Blaze. I grab my packing brush. And I literally... Where's the mirror? Here she is. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Ooh. Ooh. I picked something up on my brush. Wait a minute. Hold on. She's trying to come for me. Oh, hell no. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Ooh, ooh, baby. She was trying to get me together, honey. Hold on, wait a minute, hold on. Okay. <sighs> Here we go. A woman in distress. So I grabbed my product. Do you guys ever use these papers? These makeup artist papers? You can buy them at like the, the professional film and theater shops. There's one here in Los Angeles. It's called Nigel's. And they have these little sheets. It looks like a little notebook, but this paper, it's specifically made to put makeup on it and then you can just like grab the makeup and um it's just so handy and 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 useful when you know you're tr trying to keep your station clean and you want to have an area where you can put your products and use your products okay so i'm gonna reapply a little bit of this primer because she dried on me she got all cracky 
I'm gonna do it on this side as well. Press the number one, press the number one. If, no, press the number, well, we already did one. Press the number two. Press the number two if you're living your gay life. <clears throat> Shout out to Miss Daniela Roldan. Baby Miss Raniela, no, Daniela Roldan, honey. She said the Emmy Award winning doll is back. I love you, Lush. What green eyeliner did you use two videos ago? Oh, the girls love, the girls love to get the secrets. Oh, the girls love. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I think it's in this bag over here. Damn, you're gonna make me get up. Hold on, I'll be right back. Ooh! Ooh! She really wants the tea. Where is it? I think I found it. I found it. I have my little traveling bag. These are Zuka. These are like a little traveling band, a traveling brand of bag. And you guys are never gonna believe this, but this is what I use for my neon green. This is by a brand called, and I've shouted them out before, it's called By Me Lo Lops, and this is the radioactive. Um, it's a water activated, it's called Water Ink. And this is in the shade Rays. You literally, I have a little small pump that I filled. It's like a small little, just one of those little pumps you can get anywhere, like at the dollar store. And you put, you can put liquid in it and it sprays. And I put water in it. It's just water. And then I just go, psh, one or two pumps of water. That's all you need. You don't need too much water. It activates the product. You grab a small liner brush and you pick it up and you go, qua, 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 qua. And it works. And it, and it turns it out. And um, there I go, spilling my secrets away for the world. So let me tell you, the, the next day when they ask you, who is your drag mother? Tell them Luscious Massacre taught me how to paint, baby. That's my mama. Okay, we're getting back to the uh, eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, we got, uh, we got Golden Blaze. We're gonna pick it up right here. Damn, it creased already again. You guys are getting me together. Okay, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. We're gonna blend this down. Boom, 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 boom. We're gonna blend her away. We need to, honey, blending is perfection. If it's not blended, baby, throw it away. Throw it away. Okay. So I put this all over my lid. No, hold on. You, are, you guys are about to get me. You guys are about to get me. I never do this. I never do this. I just got this, by the way. Look at this big, oh, look at this big square sponge. I am obsessed. It almost looks like my little tiny sponge. And then I got a big one. I can't, I haven't even used it yet. I bought it in Houston. Houston really, when it comes to makeup, sometimes you find some really cool stuff in Houston. Okay, how do I open this? Here we go. Oh, it's so fierce. If you guys want to see this, it's called Nikak. It's called Nikak, New York. And it was only $2.99. $2.99. Can you believe that? How ferocious. Okay. I'm going to grab a little bit of powder. Shout out to Miss Tiandra, sweet tea in the house. We got Miss Tiandra, sweet tea in the house. And she said, I love you. Happy Mother's Day, Mama Leche. Thank you for teaching the girls. I, Miss Tiandra, you're so sweet, baby. Okay, I'm gonna grab my powder, my pink powder. This powder is a secret. The only way I will release and tell you what powder this is, if you guys can get me to 200 likes. So you better like away, you better like this video. And I'm gonna press this powder under my eyes. Boom. I don't want to have any fallout. Any fallout. Okay. We got that there. And we're back. So I'm going to apply the, the this copper color all over my lid. 
And I have small lids and I really love to give drama and volume and I love to make my eyes look bigger than what they are. So I tend to go out, I try to feel, and I've said, that I, I try to feel where my eyeball is and I try to apply this everywhere that my eyeball is. Okay, you guys see that? I press that on there. I go right here and I do the same thing. This is step number one for a soft, fast, simple, Glam. This is still glam, my darlings. Make no mistake, we're still going to be painted by the end of this video. I press it all over my lid. Pack it on. And you know, sometimes if I'm feeling a little like I want an extra pop, but you know what? Today we're not going to do that because today we don't have any time. Today we don't have any time for all that and we want to keep it simple for the girls. Luscious. We want to keep it simple for the dolls. Don't complicate it, honey, too much. I, this is a Laura Lee Los Angeles uh, eyeshadow palette in the number L37. Shout out to Miss Citizen 52. Baby, Miss Citizen 52 is boom, 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 coming in with a combo, honey. She's winning the pageant. She said, Luscious, your mother looks stunning today on the gram. Speaking of Mother's Day... Can you please encourage Miha to audition for RuPaul's Drag Race? Listen, I have told Miha to audition for RuPaul's Drag Race. I told her she needs to, but she is a, you know, she's a very busy working celebrity hairstylist and she feels like, I don't need to do all that. Maybe not now. Maybe in the future, who knows? But for now, she enjoys having a sense of privacy. Because let me tell you something. When you have privacy, you live. And, 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 and you don't you take it for granted. But when you lose your privacy and you can't go anywhere or do anything without any everyone knowing your your tea and your business, that's when you're like, ooh, I don't know if I like losing my privacy. So I understand it 100%. Okay, moving on. We're moving on to this shadow right over here. This is in the shade Cedar Rose. <laughs> Miss Cedar Rose. And I grab this shadow, boom, boom, boom. And then I go in right here, just in the outside corner. And I honestly, I like to pack it on. I feel like the packing on technique for me, instead of going like ta 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 ta, I know in theory, going like this feels like you're blending, but in reality, girl, you're just moving, it's smushing it around and creating more texture. And it's just easier to just pack very lightly, just pack the makeup on and it just, it keeps you more in control of what you're doing, where you're placing the product. And I've learned that packing, sometimes it just works easy. It works better. It gives you a better result. The makeup looks more pleasing and more beautiful. And isn't that what we're trying to do at the end of the day, doll? Isn't that what we're trying to do at the end of the day? Go ahead and press some on over here on this side. Oh my God, by the way, that's so true. I'm over here like fully having a moment and it's Mother's Day. Feliz Dia de las Madres. Happy Mother's Day to all the women out there who are mothers and the men out there who are mothers too. Because <laughs> let me tell you something, there are mothers out there who are men too, bitch, okay? Oh, let me tell you, mothers, happy Mother's Day. Feliz Dia de las Madres, mis amores. Happy Mother's Day to everybody, baby. Happy Mother's Day. I called my mom earlier, and I actually, I was supposed to be flying home today, you guys. But my flight this morning, there was so such bad weather in Texas. My flight kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed. And I just, I get anxiety when I travel. I really do. I sometimes, especially during weather, I'm just like, oh, this is just so annoying. It's so uncomfortable. It's just not a fun experience. So when I saw that my flight had gotten delayed four times, I was like, I called the airline and I said, sweetie, change my flight, baby. I'll fly tomorrow. I'm not going to be able to fly today. This it stresses me out. The fact that it already got pushed back four times. And sometimes when it gets pushed back that many times, they will cancel the flight. And I was like, I'm not trying to go to the airport and then stay stuck at the airport because they canceled the flight. Oh, it's just, I don't want to struggle. Not on this Sunday. I don't have it in me. I don't have it in my body and my soul 
to struggle. So I called my mother and I said, Madrecita de mi vida, I'm just not going to be able to make it today. But tomorrow, I'm going home. I'm, I have a really early flight. I'll be in Brownsville early. And I'm going to take you to lunch or dinner tomorrow. And we're and, and you know what? Tomorrow, it's also, it might be less packed. Because, you know, sometimes on Mother's Day, it just gets too packed. And I was like, tomorrow, you and I, we're going to go out. We're going to have a fun time. I'll see you tomorrow, my mother and my love. And she understood. Her husband had already took her out to eat. So it all ended up working out for the best. But I was a little bummed that I wasn't able to see my mother on today. Okay, you see the little pats? Boom, boom, boom. And that's it. That's honestly it. Um, one more step. I this, this same brush. And this is... Girl, I've used this brush for so many years. She don't got markings. Honey, it's a miracle she's still standing. I clean it off. And I grab, and this is just my little secret, my little technique, which I'm going to share with you in this moment. Um, I grab my MAC powder, and this is Studio Fix. This is in the shade NC40. Now, a lot of you makeup lovers out there, you already know, this is not an eyeshadow. This is a powdered foundation. However, this is technically a big-ass eyeshadow. And... What I love about it is since it's a foundation, it actually has coverage. So it actually helps cover a little bit. And I just to make my my texture here under my eyebrow or actually where my eyebrow goes because my real eyebrow is down here, but I shave it off and then I paint my eyebrow up here. So sometimes for me, I don't know if you guys can relate. If you don't have eyebrows, you might not know. But when you remove your eyebrow and then you paint it up higher, Sometimes it can get a little bumpy. <laughs> it can get a little bumpy in this area. It can be a little bit of texture. And, you know, we're trying to look as beautiful as possible up close in person. Especially if we're, if you know, if we're out and we run into somebody, a, you know, a, a, an admirer or, or somebody that you find delicious. You want them to see you and be like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. You are delicious. You know what I mean? So I grab my little handy dandy NC40 powder. And I apply it up here. And essentially what this does is it just kind of sets everything. Because I did put cream here. And it also helps it stay matte. And at the same time, it adds a little bit of that extra coverage that I need. So that my makeup just looks a little bit more seamless. And you know what I like to do too? I don't like to be, I don't like it when it looks like, okay, you had shadow and then you have a different color and there's a disconnect. There's like this two different things going on. So what I do is I grab the same powder and just over the edge, I slightly go over with this powder and it kind of just marries, every, you see how this is just, it kind of brings everything together. It marries everything together. So it gives you that soft blend. It's a, and we pat, ladies and gentles, ladies and gentles, we pat. So do you guys see the difference of how clean this looks to how rough this looks over here? Press the number three if you see the rough. Press the number three if you see the rough, but then now you see that blend. Do you guys see that little blend? And it just gives the effect of, ooh, she just added a little something right there, a little smidge. She gave a little hint. You know what I mean? She gave a little hint of something. And that for me is what I'm what the journey that I'm on right now. I'm trying to explore giving hints of things. I don't I, I I'm I, I you know you guys know that I am the crease girl. I can do a crazy lid, I can do a crease, I can do a what do they call it? a graphic line, I can do crazy line, I can do all these things, baby. I'm not bothered. Right now I'm trying to focus on can she give a hint? Can the girls take a step back and use less product and give a hint? <laughs> can the girls do it though? Because let me tell you, there's so many girls out here that they swear they can paint the house down. But can the girls give a hint, baby? We don't always have to do so much. Sometimes when you have a confidence from within, you just need to give a little hint, bitch. Give a hint, honey. Okay. I'm gonna come over here to this side and we're gonna do the same thing. 
And honestly, this makeup is for anybody. It doesn't matter if you're a man, woman, a creature, honey, a beast, a monster, you know, an ogre. It doesn't matter if you're Joella Puss. You can do this makeup too. Okay. And then you apply and you pat. The Who would have thought that the secret was in patting? Remember back in the day when they would tell you, just blend, honey, go ahead and blend that out. And the girls would be just going, cut, 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 just trying to... <laughs> Baby, I don't live for that. I, You know what? The patting girls. Let's pat, baby. Pat, pat, pat. You know what? There's no wrong or right way to do makeup. If you like to blend and you like to just give the little sushi, 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 go ahead and do it. Feel your fantasy, feel your life. For me, I'm currently... And, and listen, tomorrow I might change my mind. <laughs> There's... There's a journey through makeup and, and everybody thinks they know and everybody thinks that their word is the word and their word is is correct. But the reality is makeup, I, I really truly think we're never going to fully figure it out as human beings. Sometimes I when I'm doing my makeup, I'm, I'm thinking, how did we get here? How did we figure out to do this? It's like there's like a divine energy there. Like it, to me, it feels like when I'm doing makeup, it's almost like, who invented this? Was it like, was it God? Was it the universe? Who created this at its root, at its source? Because sometimes it just feels so divine. Like to, to, when you're there and you figure something out and you're like, oh my God, this is how this is how to do it. I just figured it out. This is how you do this. You know what I mean? It's it's very interesting. It's It's so weird and interesting how makeup like, I always sit and I wonder and I think, who, how did this come about? How, how did we stumble upon this? It's almost like, who created electricity? Like, who, how did we get to this point where we figured out that you can do this and you can transform your face by doing these things? Like, it's so interesting to me. And I really, really, do you see how soft that is now? Do you guys see the difference? And it was just like, you know, tiny amounts of powder and I'm done. That's literally my eyeshadow. My next step. Oh, I hope I have it here. I surely do. I surely do. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much. Um, the potato said, girl, you done lost me. I'm so sorry, sweetie, that you're so lost. But... I, I know in my mind that I'm making complete sense what I'm saying. Press the number four if you've ever felt that way. If you're doing your makeup and then you're just thinking, wow, this is this. I just figured out like it's almost like a little hint or a little secret of something. And you feel like the universe led me to this point where I just figured out that this is the way that I need to do my makeup for my face, for my eye, for my shape to bring this creature forward, this this goddess, this entity that did not exist. But when I put makeup on my face, I was able to bring this Glamazon forward and now she's here. I brought her to life. I created a new person. And I know that it's not just makeup. I know that clothing can do this. You know, hair can do this. But there's a there's an intimate relationship with makeup that feels godly, that feels otherworldly, that feels like who was the mastermind that created the human being in such a way that you can apply this these 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 elements on your face and bring something else forward. Like who what who was the architect? Who was the architect who thought up of like the eyebrows go here and your lid goes here and this is your liner line and this is and 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 now this is what you can do and you can transform it. Who was the architect? That's very interesting to me. I always think you know sometimes I feel like there has to be more out there that we don't know and that we don't understand <laughs> because how did this happen? You know, I don't know. I'm rambling about dumb things, but this is this is my simple two eyeshadow application. I put in liner, and I love. I have to. I have to shout them out because 
this this eyeliner truly truly it flabbergasts me there are two eyeliners that i love you know it might change tomorrow but right now i love the uh makeup by mario eyeliner shout out to denison 52 she said who would be your dream client mariah I will never reveal who my dream client is. I, I actually might have already revealed her in a different video on YouTube, but I want to hold her close to my heart and I want to keep her with me um, until one day it comes true, until one day it happens. Because I see it. I see it for myself. I see the universe. I, I'm always trying to be present and, and, and remove distractions from my mind. And I see the universe laying out the signs. And, and it's almost like Dorothy in the Yellow Brick Road. And it keeps telling me, don't go this way, bitch. Go this way. Here we go. Boom. Go this way. And so I feel the, the, the blocks, literally the yellow bricks falling in front of me as I walk forward. And, and I know that the path... It will take me to her, but then it will take me beyond. But when I get to her, it will be a full circle dream come true moment for, of my life. But it's taking me there. I see it. And I cannot confirm or deny or say who it is, but here it is. Let's, oh, this makeup. Sorry, I keep, I keep getting distracted. This is the One Size Beauty... Uh, point made, bodacious black. Shout out to Patrick Starr. Um, I don't have a code with them or anything like that. They send me PR and I love it so much because I've been able to try all of their products. And you guys, actually, you want to know what my favorite, favorite product right now is that to me, this is a must have. And you know what? If I was stranded in a deserted island and they told me luscious, there's only one product that you can take with you, I would sneakily of course, take my eyebrow pencils because I use like six eyebrow pencils to do my eyebrows. So that doesn't count. That's a guarantee. My other product that I would take would be this. And you guys, you guys can see that I've been using this. This is the One Size Beauty Secure the Sweat. Um, I have so much insight tea on this product that I could never release and I could never reveal just out of secrecy for my friends. Um, I have to keep it under wraps, but... This product was in the making for years. And then I was so excited when it finally came out. And all I can say is a slam dunk, honestly. They kicked it out of the ballpark. I use this almost every single day when I do my makeup. You guys know that I'm a big girl. Big girls, we sweat. You know, our, our bodies scream. Our bodies, they sweat, they spit, they, they, they cry. You know, as big girls, we put our bodies through a lot. And this product, it truly scares me and it gags me and it sh shreds me because it really works. This primer, I put it here, I put it here. I actually love to grab the brush and just spread it this way and spread it this way. I put it on my nose and I put it all over my forehead. So I, I pretty much put it all over my face, <laughs> except under my eyes. Uh, and when I go out, because I sweat, and I, I sweat to the point where I'm like, I sweat here. Sometimes I get so sweaty, this gets all wet and moist. I start sweating here, I sweat here, I sweat everywhere. This product will actually contain it. Not forever, because, I mean, come on, let's be realistic. I mean, unless they went in and they pulverized my pores and my sweat glands, I'm going to sweat. But it gives me at least a good few couple of hours where I'm going to be matte. And you know what my favorite thing about it is... I usually sweat the most when I'm like getting dressed and it's the worst because you do your makeup, you look beautiful and glamorous and then you get dressed and you start running around the house and you start sweating and then you feel like, damn, now my makeup doesn't look as fresh. But guess what? With this, your makeup, especially when you just finish and you, you get up and you start walking around and you can feel that you're starting to sweat, but then you look in the mirror and there's barely any perspiration on your face. It really does the work of trying to hold it back. Of course, if you like are outside and it's 80 degrees and you're running around and it gets hot, you're going to sweat. The sweat will still pull through, but it's still going to hold it. It's still going to hold it in and it's going to 
give you that barrier of like, at least you're not going to be drenched. You're not going to be like, you know, destroyed. I love this. Secure the sweat, one size beauty. Anyways, let me get to this damn eyeliner because I've, girl, I can talk and I can talk. You guys know this. You guys love coming to my channel because that's what I do. I'm a talkative girl. If you guys want me to release and share what powder this is, this pink powder, you guys have to get me to 200 likes. Okay. Let me do this liner. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to show you. Oh, another reason why I like this liner. I've had this liner for about six months, and it still works, and I use it almost every day. Shout out. Sorry, I have to do a shout out. Shout out to Miss Samara Sly in the house. We have Miss Samara Sly, and she said, no questions for you, queen. Honestly, every time I watch your videos, I get so pumped and inspired. As a Mexican girl myself, you've been my idol. I could listen to you for hours. Oh, I just felt chills. I just felt chills. Thank you, Miss Samara Sly. I receive that. I take that in. Um, I don't even know what to say other than thank you for being here. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for coming and hanging out with the doll. You know, thank you so much. I love it. Shout out to Miss Citizen 52. She said, how do you wear makeup in outdoor party events? You start with Secure the Blur. And the next one is you get yourself a fan, which, oh, I have a bone to pick with y'all. I... We have been sold out. Listen, and this is... Actually, it's not a bone to pick with you. Let me correct my statement. I have a bone to pick with this bitch. <laughs> I have to shred her. Oh, Polar. This fan is my favorite thing because I am a big, big, big girl and I need a fan when I go out into the world because the world is very hostile to big women. That fan has been sold out at this point for almost two years, okay? To the point where I think I've broken like three fans and every time I get them replaced, I'm at the point now where I have to order them from like China because like I cannot find them on the website. These fans are on are sold out and I am convinced it's because of me because I talk about it all the damn time. Press the number five if you have ever purchased an Opolar fan because I was talking about Opolar. And you know what is so shady? It's not shady. Let me correct my statement. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just upset. Opolar reached out to me and then we were in talks and then they stopped responding. They were going to, we were going to get a code and hopefully we were going to like partner together because I was shouting them out so much. I know so many people that brought, bought that fan because I would constantly talk about that damn fan. And now the fan is sold out. And now me, who is the BBW doll who talked about the fan and shouted out the fan, now even I can't find the fan. So hard. Shout out to Miss Lulu, baby. We got Miss Lulu in the house. And she says, thank you for coming live to the dolls. Amanda Andrews wants to be my drag mother. She's telling me to use the name Miss Tissue Paytas. Is it fierce? No. No, 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 no. Don't do that to yourself. If you're going to give yourself a drag queen name, if it's going to be camp and comical, try to find a way to make it fierce. Don't reference toilet paper, I, I feel. And don't reference Trisha Paytas. Period. Let's see who else do we have over here. Uh, okay, well, let me move on and let me... <laughs> Honey, whenever in doubt in life, just don't reference Tisha, Trisha Paytas. Just don't reference her. Okay, let me move on over here and let me finish this damn liner, honey, because if not, we're never going to finish. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I have one of my friends. He's absolutely in love with Trisha Paytas. And when he sees this video and he sees that I shredded and shaded Trisha Paytas, he's going to be so upset. Okay, so then I go under my, my wing line and I wing it out a little bit, just a little. I connect up here. Just right there. And then I go in and I shade it in. I shade her in. I have I have been using this eyeliner. It actually might be a year. I've been using this eyeliner for about a year. I'm not even lying. For about a year. 
and she's still wet and moisty. And when you touch it with the little tip, whoosh, she still paints. This is wild. Patrick Starr, you made an amazing product because let me tell you, for a, for a, for a lazy woman who's on the go, who is just doesn't even want to stop at the makeup store, has no time, and I have run out of every eyeliner that I have, but this one continues to give. She continues to give life. She continues to give life. Okay, let me put this one on here. Hold on, let me turn this fan because I don't want my eyes to get a little watery. So we draw the line, we go under, wing it out, we connect, and then like a coloring book, we go back. And we fill, we fill her in and we're done. Let me put on some lashes and then I'm gonna pop on a little bit of blush. I'm gonna try a new blush. I've, you guys know that I've been using my Dior, but I don't want to be the woman who always falls back and uses the same thing over and over, over and over. We need to try new things. So I am going to try, uh, House Labs sent me their new collection of blushes and highlighters. And I, I've never touched, touched these. These are untouched, never been used. So I can't wait to try these out. But first, let's put on a baby lash. And I need to find my lash glue, actually. Oh, here she is. Uh, by the way, I'm enamored and I'm in love with this product. This is from Duo. They send me a uh, kiss. I think I, I received this with my kiss. Uh, I have kiss PR that I receive. This is genius and it's such a fierce little product because you get a clear lash glue on one side and you get a black lash glue on one side and then you just open it it's got the little wand, you put it on the lash, and it's just so easy and so convenient because when you're doing makeup, you don't realize sometimes you want to use the black lash glue. If you're using, a, if you're doing liner, if, if you're doing a, a smoky eye, things like that, you can get away with a black, um, the black glue, and it, it, it just, it works, and it's just so easy, and it just, I love it so much. Uh, shout out to Miss Citizen 52. She's here winning the pageant by a long shot. Miss Citizen 52 said, Lush, why don't you make your own line of fans? I would love to, honestly. I would love to do that. I need to figure out a way to do that because I need to. You're right. I need to. I need to. Can somebody help me? Is there any sponsors out there? Is there anybody who wants to go in with me and create a line of fans? Because, baby, I'm ready. Baby, I'm ready. Okay, let me grab these lashes. These baby lashes are also from Kiss. I don't remember the name because I've already used these lashes. I don't remember what the name is. The, these lashes are already a little, a little, they're a little dirty because they've been used. But my trick, here's my trick, and I'll show you on this, this thing. When your lashes are already a little, like you've used them and you got makeup on them or you got glitter on them, like me that I use this shimmer and my eyes are small, you know, your lashes can get a little dirty. What I do is I grab my liner and I go over the strip and you just color it in. You wait a few seconds for it to dry and your lashes are back to being jet black and now they look clean and they look brand new. You just color over the strip and this will allow you guys to use your lashes multiple times and at the same time so they won't look crusty because there's nothing worse than a crusty disgusting lash and I know that it happens to the best of us I'm sure I've been there too where I wear a pair of lashes and they're a little old and they're a little crusty but if we can try to avoid it sister Mary let's try to avoid it at all costs please if possible Hold on, sorry. Making sure that this eye is even to this eye, which I don't think it is, but it just needs a small tweak right here. Sorry, I'm so used to getting ready in front of a mirror where I'm looking directly at my face. Okay, we got it. So, 
I cleaned up my first one. Oh, look, this one is even dirtier, girl. Because I had these in the living room just sitting there. Okay, so you see how dirty this is? You see the little makeup on there? You just grab your lash. Grab your liner. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, ma'am. Clean. Okay. Now, we're going to pop it on in a one-two step. Since I'm wearing a thicker black liner than usual, I'm just going to use the black glue. And this is another technique. Hold on. Let me show you that I really, really enjoy. And it's such a simple little touch, but it really works. So I put glue on the lash band on the inside. Like, I'm assuming most people, we put glue on the inside of the band. But something else that I really, really love is I go over. So you see how the inside of the band is in here? I always grab a little bit of glue and I do one, I go through the, through the top. So I, what I'm doing is I'm putting two different applications of lash glue. I go inside and then I go through the top of the lash. And here's one extra trick. The outside of my lash is here. I grab my lash glue and then on the, in the little end corners, I pop a little bit of glue. Sorry, you can't see. I pop a little bit of glue on the outer edges of my lash. And what that does, oh shit, I forgot. I shouldn't do it on this one because this is black. I got myself, I'm gonna take it off. This is what happens when you're doing a tutorial, you forget to pay attention. Okay, I'm gonna grab the clear glue actually on this one and I'm gonna put a little bit of the clear glue at the edges on the top. And what that does is when you put your lash and if you put push it up and you go in front of a mirror, it's gonna glue your lash going whoop, straight up. And I call that the Mariah Carey effect. If you guys follow Mariah Carey and you guys follow Christopher Buckle, her makeup artist for over 20 years, um, Mariah Carey's lashes always look like perfection because he puts them on and then he glues them up. And so even when Mariah looks to the side or if she looks down, her lashes are always going whoop. They're giving that wide awake baby doll whoop glam effect. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You count to 10 and then you put your, damn, this fan. You put your lash. And then you go up. You see the beauty? Oh, look at that little baby doll fantasy. You grab your fan, you turn it this way, and you let it draw your lash. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hop. The baby doll effect. The baby doll effect. Press the number six if you guys just learned something new when you're applying lashes. I know it's a small little suggestion. It's a small little trick. But look at how pretty it takes. What? These are four, five dollar lashes. You really don't. I mean, I honestly, I very rarely buy those 30, $40 lashes, like that's too much money. If you put a little bit of glue just right here, baby, and you press her up, I call this the Mariah Carey effect. I don't like to use mascara because I have tiny lashes. Oh, another thing, the fact that I put glue over the band when I go up, it allows my lash to just stay up all the way around. So it's still giving the effect all the way across the board, but I put a little extra just at the end so it really gives that pop. And look how pretty my eye looks. Look at the difference. Soft, I use two shadows, liner and a lash, and it's giving that soft femininity that we all want and we all need. Don't we all just want and we crave that? Press the number one in the comments if you agree. Um, 
and give me a little gay like on this video if you guys are enjoying these kind of tutorials. We've been here for about an hour and I just gave you a full look because I'm pretty much almost done. I'm about to put my next lash, pop on blush, put on a lip, and mama is done. Oh, before I lose my train of, my train of thought, I don't wear mascara because my, eye my eyes are tiny and my lashes, if I wear mascara, it starts getting all over under my eye. So what I do is I grab my eyeliner and just at the edge of my line of my lashes, I put a little bit of liner and then I go back out and I retouch just to, to make it look extra crisp. And that's it. Just those little details. Those little details will get you from looking rough to looking snatched. And that's all we really want. We all want to go from rough to snatched. Because let me tell you, when I start my day, baby, it's rough. But I love to turn on the snatch. I'm going to put some glue. And you guys know, we're going to do the Mariah Carey effect. We put glue on the inside of the band. Glue over the top of the band. All over the top of the band. And then this one you have to do with clear glue. And this is why I love this lash. This 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 type of applicator, this type of product. You grab the clear one and then you put it at the edges. In the last maybe two or three lashes, full lashes that you can see, you apply some at the on towards the inside of the lash, but over the lash. Like you're actually putting it, you see that? Over the lash. You put it towards the fan. You're gonna let it this dry for about 10 seconds. Give a little gay like, baby. Give a little gay like to the girls. Give a little gay homosexual like to the BBW Domus Luscious Massacre. If you guys are enjoying this video, um, this is my first tutorial in over two years. And I'm really excited to come back and really challenge myself to do this more often. Because you guys know that makeup is my passion. And I want to, my YouTube channel to be all about fun and, and dumb and stupidity and conversations. And, but I also want it to be about makeup. I swear this lash was like four dollars, and I don't—I don't even think I bought it. Um, Kiss sent me this lash. I, I honestly, you guys, and I'm not even—it's not because they send me PR, but I'm such a lazy person. <laughs> I don't really go and buy makeup anymore because you know they send me makeup, and Kiss is the only brand right now that I can think of that consistently sends me lashes. So I just use the Kiss lashes that I have at the house. And they just give it to me. They turn it for me. They really do. Okay, you you press up. You turn the fan towards your face. You press up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Your lashes are up. I grab my liner. I make sure that everything up with my lash is dark and black. You see right here, there was a little bit of makeup because they were a little dirty, I go over my real lash and the fake lash with the with the liquid liner. If I need to, I make that line, that little wing, extra crispy. And the doll is done. Let's move on to blush. Now I can remove this product. I'm going to grab this brush. This is from Laura Lee, Los Angeles, in the style L33. And I'm going to brush off this pink powder. And you see how that little hint of cream blush, it already looks like I'm wearing blush. It literally all, like, I mean, I am wearing blush, but it's cream. It's not powder blush is what I mean. I literally, I could, I could have a little piece of trade in this. I could, I, you know, at this point, I feel like I'm glammed out already. But, you know, we could always use a little extra. I want to say this one more time. I am not wearing any powder products on top other than the setting powder. 
I'm, the blush is cream blush that I applied from NYX Cosmetics. And you know what the gag is? I was at Target the other day because I don't even know what these things cost <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I'm so spoiled. But this product, um, I saw that it's like $4.99. This blush, this beautiful cream blush that I use almost every day at this point, is $4.99. Like, it's, that's so fierce to me. It's so delicious to me. Okay. Oh, my God. This one. This, oh, why am I such a dramatic queen? Let's, first of all, let's, let's go over all of these products so we really can decide what we want to use and what we don't want to use. Uh, but this is, okay, so House Labs uh, Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter. This is in the shade Fire Opal. You guys, this is so beautiful. I want, I looked at them the other day and I was like, gagged. Shout out to Miss Denison 52 She said, any advice on trade-proof lips? No, my favorite trade, <laughs> I'm so stupid. My favorite trade product for me when it comes to lips is I just like to use a very pinky baby doll gloss and it comes right off um, when you start making out and, um, and then when you need it, when you're done, you just reapply. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. Oh, look at this highlighter. This is Gorgina. This is so Gorgina. This is in the shade Fire Opal. Doesn't this just look so rich and expensive? Seriously, House Labs is really getting it together. We have Fire Opal as an option. Um, this, oh, this is the one. This is the one I'm going to use, which I, I would like to say I don't normally use highlighter anymore. I feel like my skin can't handle highlighter. It brings out texture. And I, to me right now, less is more and texture for me is the enemy. I don't want any texture. So I'm going to try her, but I'm going to very hesitantly, hesitantly try her. This is in the shade Rose Quartz. Look at this beautiful highlighter. <gasps> Isn't this just the woman effect? The Womana Womana effect. This is gorgeous. This is just absolutely delicious. And this is going to look so beautiful on my cheeks. It's just absolute perfection. This is the blush that I, I'm going to try on today on my actual cheeks. <gasps> and this is in the shade color. Okay, so this is the Color Fuse blush in the shade Dragon Fruit Days. Look at this blush. Ah, oh, I need to try it now. I need to try it now. This is my little blush brush. What is this? Morphe. Oh my God, I, I, I don't even want to like touch it because the H, it looks so beautiful. I hope it's, we're about to see. Oh, look at how soft. Oh. Oh, you got to be careful because it's got a kick. And this is this blush. If you're not used to blush, it might just kick you in the face, bitch. Oh, delicious. Delicious. Okay. That was Dragon Fruit Days from House Labs. If you guys buy any of their products, honey, Lady Gaga is killing it. Please let them know that I sent you. Because I really do want them to know that I sent you. Uh, okay, so this is the highlighter. I love to just pick up that same blush brush and just pick up a highlighter and then just ding, 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 ding. Apply it over the top. And I feel like it just kind of helps everything marry together. I'm not a big fan of, you know, though, like this. And then you grab it and then you put a lot of blush just right here. And then it looks matte here. And then over here it looks shiny. And then there's like a disconnection. To each their own, the girls, everyone, there's no right or wrong way to do makeup as long as it makes you feel beautiful and you feel glamorous and gorgeous. But I'm personally not a big fan of the disconnection. I want it to be blended together. Oh my God, this just kind of adds that little baby doll softness. Do you guys see that? It just adds that baby doll. And, and I love... Products that can just give you a softness and a prettiness. And if you need to add more, you can pack it on. 
but if you don't need to, and it can just give you an effect without adding texture or adding too much, you know, too much. Oh, look how, look how it just blended everything down. Oh, this is going in my kit. Where's the other one? Okay, these two are going into my kit. I'm going to... I'm not going to carry them in my everyday kit because my everyday kit, I just kind of throw everything in there. It's this makeup bag and I feel like everything will break. Like these products, they will break. Just letting you know right now because I actually received PR and one of the bronzers that I received was broken. So these products, just be careful. They're, they are a little bit more on the fragile side. If you're going to carry these blushes and these highlighters with you, make sure you have them in a compartment where they'll be sturdy and they'll be safe because if not this will break on you should i put a little bit more or is that enough i kind of love this highlighter and you guys it didn't really it didn't actually add any texture it didn't add any texture how gorge look at that baby and you know what this is giving it's giving a little bit of this and i love that Anything that gives you that soft baby doll effect for me, that's what I'm searching for. That's what I'm here. Enough blush. We're putting these away. No, it's this one and this one. And you know what? If I ever have another moment. Oh, look at this one. Color Fuge Blush in Watermelon Bliss. Oh, if you guys ever want drama. Oh, look at this beauty. And this one was gorgeous. Honestly, look at how gorgeous this orangey one is. Especially on like my kind of complexion, those brown, you know, darker skin tones. This is going to be absolutely Gorgina. Beyond, honey, I love this. This was in the shade Fire Opal and this bright, bright red hot. Oh, I love a red hot blush like this because it can go such a long way. This is in the shade Watermelon Bliss. I'm putting these back in my makeup case where I can actually travel with these products because if not, these products will break apart. Okay, my next product is I grab a little bit of that NC40 powder foundation and I just make sure I blend and reinforce what is going on right here under my eyes. I grab a little brush like this and I just pack. And it, can, it doesn't have to be too much. You just grab, you grab a little bit of product and it just gives me a little bit more coverage under my eyes. And it blends everything together. You see that? You see how it just, whoop, it took me to the whoop. That's all I needed. A little bit of that powder foundation under my eyes. Just to give me a tiny, tiny bit more coverage. And it marries everything and blends everything together press the number seven if you guys are living and you guys are learning new things in your makeup routine that you can include it into your makeup routine don't come for me i'm putting a little bit on my forehead a little tiny bit under my nose and a little bit on my chin area i'm grabbing a powder brush with honestly this has no powder on no product on it and I just kind of and you know what you could even just stipple it ding 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 kind of just for me marries and blends things down a little bit okay I'm gonna grab my tiny tiny where is she I use this tiny Morphe M515, and this is how I do a very quick one-two-step nose highlight. I grab my Whimsical Nudes Laura Lee Los Angeles palette. I grab a shiny nude color, something like this. I put a dot right here. Just to give the effect that there's light coming out of there. I grab this one. I put a little bit right here. Sometimes if I want to give a little bit more drama, I'll grab this little matte shadow and I'll go ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. 
a tiny little line here just to kind of connect everything. A little bit more highlighter right here. Doesn't that give the effect that I highlighted my nose and I literally didn't do anything? I'll grab my little powder brush and I'll just make sure I knock a little bit of that highlight because I don't want to have any texture in that area. My nose is highlighted. Let's move on to the lips. What am I going to do with lips today? Oh, Actually, I have my makeup. I'm, I'm almost done, guys. I'm almost done. Where is my lip gloss? Be right back. Okay, okay, this is my little lip gloss bag. Shout out to Miss Denison52. Can you please title this stream Ding Ding Ding? <laughs> oh, thank you so much, you guys. Make sure you guys give me some likes, share this video, support the BBW doll experience. You guys know on my last two videos, I used this beautiful, beautiful purple lip gloss from Kimchi Chic Beauty. This is in the shade Berry. You guys can use code Luscious at checkout to get a discount. Um, let me see. I think this, I'm out. I literally think, this is in the shade Natural Pink. This is my favorite lip gloss right now. I think I'm out. Or is it this one? No, this one. Oh, Kimchi Chic. I need new glosses. This is uh, in the shade Blonde Raisin. I'm almost out of this one as well. Should I try like a brown? No, because I feel like I'm wearing so much pink. Damn, I need to go shopping. I need to go shopping for new glosses. Bitch, they got me. Baby, they got me. Let me see if I have this. This is natural pink. You know what? I'm going to do this. Girl, I'm almost out. And I'm gonna add a touch. I'm gonna add a touch of this. So this gloss, we're bringing it back to brand new. Listen, this is all new stuff that I've been working with and it just works and I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna shout it out. This is from Laura Lee Los Angeles. You guys can't even see, but look how much glitter there is inside of this product. You guys know that I love glitter. This is a, um, she sent, the. this is a new lip gloss collection that she sent out recently. And this is in the shade Sparkling Iris. Let's see if you guys can see. <gasps> oh, do you guys see that? Oh. It just adds like this really cool, like nude glitter film. Oh, and it smells, and it tastes like bubble gum. It's bubble gum, right? Bubble gum, look at my lips. Oh, oh, come on, Laura Lee. This is in the shade Sparkling Iris, and I put it over the Kimchi Lip Gloss in the shade Natural Pink. This is my, pink, my lip combo for today. I need new glasses, girls. I need to go buy new glasses. I need to have a home. I can't wait to get home so I can start using all of my new products. Seriously, I cannot wait to get home. Okay, should I release my hair or should I keep it in the back? Where's my where's my comb? I need I need a, I need a curling iron. Baby, we need we need a curling iron over here. Look, just a woman with her natural hair. <laughs> And that is my finished look, you guys. Should I release my bang? Should I release my bang? This is the finished look, you guys. It's a one, two step. Hold on, this little hair right here gets on my nerves. It's a one, two step experience. It's a one, two step. Uh, obviously, I took a little longer 
I took a lot longer than usual uh, to do this makeup. I can do this makeup in about 45 minutes, put on a brow, a clean lid, pop two shadows on, liner, put a lash on, um, foundation, a little bit of concealer. This is a concealer that I used, which is what I've been using and I've really been enjoying. I use the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and I just go quas, 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 quas. I put a bunch of lines under my eye. I blend it and she's good to go. And here I am. A woman stands before you with her natural hair, her sex hair. Look, This looks like sex hair. And I'm ready to go. I'm ready to push. I put on a little dress and we push out and we're ready to go. I... I really feel like the blush. The blush for me just gave me the effect that I really, really needed. Uh, it gave me the fantasy that I deserve. And I really am enjoying this makeup. I'm really like, this is, this is my little like, I don't have any time to get ready. Let's go girls and let's push. It's, it's two, three steps. And you're done. And look, my nose looks like it's... I look like I did a lot of work, but I didn't do much. My nose looks like it's highlighted. My eyes look clean and done. I have blush. And I have a little bit of this glistening, gorgeous highlighter. My lips look so moist. And the doll is ready to go. This is my little tutorial um, using the Whimsical Nudes Laura Lee Palette. And using the House Labs Blush. And I also put some house, uh, no, some Laura Lee and some Kimchi Chic on my lips. And I used Kiss Lashes on my eyes. Uh, if you guys can please just like this video, support the doll, share this video. I will appreciate you so much till the end of time. Um, I had so much fun coming on here with you guys and I can't wait to do it again. I'm going to try to schedule more tutorials and I have a bunch of PR and products at home, new products that I really can't wait to try. And so I'm excited to go home, be around my, my studio and be able to create uh, tutorials for you guys because I really want this channel to get back to cosmetics. You know, I am the cosmetical doll and I need to be back in this world of makeup. I know that a lot of you guys, that's what you came here for originally. I started my YouTube channel based on makeup. I would do makeup tutorials. I would do a whole bunch of things and I need to get back to that because that's my true passion, makeup. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm also going to tune in live and kiki with you guys and hang out with you guys and i'm also gonna vlog i've been vlogging these last couple of days and at least if i post one vlog a week i'll be happy and i'll be satisfied because i that'll be so much fun for me like being able to vlog and show you what i've been doing with my days and when i've been going out and having fun with the girls and that to me is really what i want i want to share so uh, stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. Uh, and make sure that the little notifications are on. Uh, so that when I go live, you guys get notified. Please make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and watch my Instagram stories. Now that I'm back on social media, I was taking a social media break. But now that I'm back on social media, I promise you guys I'm going to try to post more often and share more on my Instagram. And I'm also going to let you guys know when... I'm about to go live so you guys can come over to my channel and that way you guys can make sure you guys tune in. Look at this hair. Look at how gorgeous this hair. I am obsessed and I don't even put any product in it or anything. It's just gorgeous. You guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in, coming in here, hanging out with me and doing this first tutorial with me. I, I was a little nervous because I, you guys know that one, I haven't done a tutorial in a very long time. And two, I'm a very talkative girl and I start talking, talking, talking. And then before you know it, it's three, four, five hours and I still haven't finished my makeup. And I'm like, oh my God, what happened? But I'm going to push myself and try to be a professional working doll. Shout because I am a professional working makeup artist and it's part of the job. I need to do good at tutorials, you know, and stay focused and stay in it. Shout out to Ms. Norlinda Julia Harris. Yes. What was it? Change the title of the stream to Ding Dong. <laughs> or Ding 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 Ding. Oh my God, you guys are hilarious. 
No, the title is going to stay what it is. It's This is the first makeup tutorial that I've done in about two years. And this shows that I'm going back in the correct direction of what I want to be doing with my channel and with my platform, which is cosmetics. I want to be doing makeup. Uh, anyways, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in today and watching this video uh, and hanging out with me. I love you guys so much. Before I go, I just want to say, if you're going through the gigs, do not allow the gigs to go through you. I love you guys so much. I'm so excited to finally be back on YouTube. Run and tell everyone the doll is back. Um, and I can't wait to keep doing this. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.